calipers off, brake pads, and uh, rotors. And right now, I'm going to work on pulling out the axle shafts because I have to re drill said axle shafts for a S10 bolt pattern or GM 5x4.75, and this is 5x4.5. Sounds close, but it's not close enough. <laughs> so, we're working on, I got the cover off, and I'm looking for the C clips, and I can't find them. And it's got this fancy S clip, and a little bit of figuring it out. I think I got it. So, so we have to get this pin out, but there's a bolt holding that. Alright, it's an 8 mil. So, I'm going to have to hold the ring gear while I crack that bolt loop. You could see... Where is it? The axle shaft. There. I'll move it. See? So, you got to do is reach over while squeezing the axle shaft in as far as you can. Go with your left hand. Uh, get a magnet on it and just pull it straight out. And if it's stuck a little bit like this side was, I grabbed a pick, moved the thing around, the C-clip around a little bit. Then I grabbed it with a magnet cam right out. And you're able to just pull the axle shaft out. And then I did the same thing on the other side. And the axle shaft is ready to come out. 8-8 axle shaft. S10 drum. Brake. On there. Hub board fits perfect. Drilled the first one, put the stud in, and now I'm going to drill the rest. Now this is the second axle shaft I did so far. Two of two. So we're using some starting fluid. Move you guys over. Okay. Uh, I need to find some other type of cleaner. Oh, guess what? Another thing of starting fluid. Cement. Cleanish, ish. We go with issues here. These are the stock studs. I have the S10 rear. Three half-inch washers. Grade eight. That don't really matter. Stock lug nut. Okay. Ready, set, hammer. People tell me that'll never work. You should run to a machine shop. Oh. What happened? It's on there perfect. Almost lost the ice. On there perfect. Dual drill. On there perfect. Let me re drill the rotors now so we're in marks. 
kind of center. What you think is center. Now you line up the bolt holes in the drum with what's kind of center. This is still the same 31 64th drill bit that they use to re drill the axles. Trying to line the hub bores of both the rotor and the drum. I'm just running my finger around it just to square them up. Loosely threading in a half inch grade 8 bolt. They won't thread in all the way, but it'll get you close. At this point, you'll realize that won't go on to the axle. These are, since the studs aren't, the studs are actually small, or the studs are larger than the holes we need to because they're a press fit stud. So the, the holes in the rotor are bigger than the studs, so it'll slip on there. And there's a 31 64th drill bit. We'll just set that over here with my other drill bits. The next one, the next size bigger, it's a half inch. And that's also the biggest size I have. So now you can just line them up and drill them like normal. Like this is normal. I just got done uh, re-drilling the, the rotors. I wish I could tell you what size they ended up with on them. I have no idea. Uh, I ran out of... Uh, the biggest drill bit was a half inch. So I put that back. And I ended up using that. And I went to about the third one left so I can't read what size it is I really don't care what size it is I'm sure what you could do is I drilled this side flipped it over did the other side well on this one where it's marked so drilled it there went the other way so I didn't drill too far because it would uh, like bevel it um, but that's it Drill that side, that side, but I mean, if you had a normal drill bit, you just drill it right through. Um, I'd probably use like a start with a 916 to try that. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other sizes also that would probably work, but you can see it's on there, it's sitting flush, and the hub bore fits good. So, well, I mean, it's the rotor that came off of it, and I test fit the axle shaft on a not that wheel, but a stock steely, because these ones fit, they're aftermarket. But a stock steely fit the hub bore of the axle shaft perfect. So that means we're good. So all the studs are pressed in. All I did was stuck the washer on this side and one of the stock lug nuts and just pressed it until it just touched. If they have to get seated a little bit more when you torque the wheels, they'll seat the rest of the way. So I'm just going to clean up the axle shafts. Probably not tonight. Toss them back in. And then shove the C-clips back in. Pull the axle shafts out so they go in. So they're seated. And then slide that pin in through the top. And then use that bolt. Got this S10 rear in here. S10 frame. And I just robbed the drums and the studs out of it. And... I will dis disconnect the e-brake cable, the U-bolts, and toss this cocksucker out. That is garbage. Okay, I started watching my video, and uh, there was two parts I thought I wasn't clear enough for maybe some of you. When you pull these axle shafts out, you want to pound out the old studs. And then I set the drum on there, and I just eyeball marked with yellow marker here, here, here. 
and then you line the holes with the drum up to somewhere there, I'll show you. So, like you see I put yellow marker there. These holes weren't there clearly. And then you would line this up and you see a yellow hole there, and then there'd be a yellow mark there and you just line it up. So you drill that out. Um, after I drilled the first hole, I put a stud in there just so I knew the whole thing wouldn't move, even though it's hub centric. I just wanted to be sure. I mean, if you really wanted to be sure, you could put one here, do second one diagonal, put a stud there, and then the whole thing won't move. And then you can do the other three, and you'll know for sure they'll end up there. It was a 31 64th drill bit. The first thing I did here after I lined it up, I used same, this isn't the drill bit, but it's a 31 64th drill bit. Um, so I lined it up, and then I just see how it's not lined up. I would just run my finger around it until it felt, and that would actually uh, center it up, five of them. And every time I drill the hole, I just make sure the hub is centered. You can probably make something just to keep it centered, or if I scrape it, the 31 64th drill bit um, into the rotor, I would just take a half inch bolt. These would thread in there. Clearly, the hole's bigger now, but the half inch grade 8 bolt will thread into it, and that kept it from... Uh, from moving too, so like I drill one, put another one, and then another one, and then that the three of them would keep it from moving also. So just a little half inch bolt that might help, or you can just center it and then just vice grip it. Um, that would work too. Uh, set it down, and then after the holes are drilled, you just go like normal and just drill them bigger. And that's how you do that. So. That's just clarifying what you need to do and how I did it. I'm sure you can use this as a reference and do it your way a little bit better, you know. And if you want to watch more, I'm making plenty of updates on this build. It's an S10 frame, Studebaker body, getting LS, 4L80, and of course the 8.8 that I just showed you. So there's plenty of other videos on that of the entire build from mounting the body, putting the motor in, all that.